At the World Health Organization, we give high priority to suicide prevention. So it is fitting that this year's theme of World Mental Health Day on 10th October is suicide prevention. We very much welcome this opportunity to raise global awareness of the very serious but so often neglected issue of suicide. Every 40 seconds, someone loses their life to suicide. This means that almost 800,000 lives are lost each year. And each loss is an undecipherable tragedy for the person who has lost their life and for the friends, families, colleagues, and communities who are left behind, very often without the assistance they need. Young people represent the future, and yet suicide is the second leading cause of death among 15 to 29 years old. More must be done to ensure that young people have the coping mechanisms they need to face the challenges that they encountered in school, university, and in the workplace. We must also ensure that they have access to the support they need when they need it. Suicide can affect anyone, anywhere. Contrary to popular belief, suicide is not only an issue in high-income countries. In fact, nearly 80% of suicides occur in low- and middle-income countries, where the resources for identifying and supporting those in need are scarce. Strengthening mental health and care systems in all settings is imperative. For every suicide, there are 20 more attempts. People who survive a first attempt are at high risk of making a further attempt, so particular attention is needed in providing ongoing support. Fortunately, suicides are preventable. We know what works and we know what doesn't work. Raising awareness on days like World Mental Health Day presents us with the opportunity to help break the stigma so that more people feel able to reach out for help. Restricting access to the means of suicide, encouraging the media to provide stories of hope and to use non-sensational language when reporting on suicide, supporting young people in schools to build their life skills, and identifying the risk of suicide as early as possible in order to provide timely support are four key interventions that help prevent suicide. At the World Health Organization, we support governments to use their unique position to implement a national response to suicide prevention. But we all have a role to play. On World Mental Health Day, and I encourage each one of you, as a friend, a partner, a parent, a colleague, a teacher, whether you work in health services or you are a first responder or work in the media, so I encourage you all to learn more about suicide prevention and reach out to those who are struggling. Together, we can save lives.